Did you know that the antidepressant you take during pregnancy could raise your child's odds of being born with a serious heart defect? Recent laboratory work shows that the same drugs many regard as safe for expecting mothers can derail the earliest stages of fetal heart formation. Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're looking squarely at selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, and the striking new evidence that links them to congenital heart problems when used in pregnancy. I'm Alara Skye, and the first number you need to hear is six. Roughly 6% 6 of pregnant women in the United States now receive an SSRI prescription to manage depression. Yet these medications readily cross the placenta and enter fetal circulation during critical growth windows. That transfer was examined in a communications biology study that used two human stem cell systems, flat cardiomyocyte layers, and three-dimensional cardiac organoids that mimic an early human heart. The researchers exposed both to real-world blood concentrations of three common SSRIs, fluoxetine, paroxetine, and sertraline. Sertraline emerged as the clear front-runner in toxicity. At just 7.5 micromoles, half the cardiac cells died, whereas fluoxetine and paroxetine required roughly fourfold higher doses for the same lethal effect. Expectant mothers taking standard amounts of sertraline can therefore reach damaging levels without realizing it. All three drugs, though, converged on the same mechanism. They impaired oxidative metabolism. Within five days, the heart cells churned out excessive reactive oxygen species, a sign of mounting oxidative stress, while their adenosine triphosphate, ATP, plunged. Less ATP means weaker cellular engines during a phase when every heartbeat shapes the chambers and valves. Those metabolic hits matter because the fetal heart is building at breakneck speed. Mitochondria must run flawlessly, yet serotonin itself normally slows oxidative phosphorylation. As bioenergetic researcher Georgie Dinkoff points out, if a heart, an organ insulated by protective steroids, suffers under serotonin's influence, the more sensitive developing brain is likely at even greater risk. That risk is not confined to the womb. Older adults on SSRIs show two to four times higher blood levels of the drugs than younger adults on identical doses because aging livers and kidneys clear medications more slowly. Major depression affects up to 3% of seniors, so exposure is widespread. Higher circulating concentrations disrupt blood vessel defenses. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors block calcium channels that enable arteries to constrict under pressure, a safeguard called myogenic tone. When that protection falters, blood vessels stiffen and plaque formation accelerates, paving the way for atherosclerosis. Platelet behavior also shifts. Serotonin released from activated platelets boosts clot formation, and transporter gene variants further heighten premature heart attack risk. Add fluoxetine's ability to disturb cardiac sodium and calcium currents and arrhythmias from atrial fibrillation to unnervingly slow heart rates can follow, especially in compromised hearts. Neurologic consequences surface too. In mouse models, prenatal SSRI exposure combined with maternal inflammation altered the placenta brain interface. Adult offspring showed muted social communication and reduced social interest, behaviors reminiscent of autism spectrum conditions. Human data align. Meta-analyses link prenatal SSRI use to greater odds of preterm birth, neonatal seizures, and postpartum hemorrhage. Layered atop the new congenital heart findings, a clear pattern of systemic vulnerability emerges when serotonin levels are pharmacologically forced during gestation. Where does that leave you if you're pregnant, planning to conceive, or simply weighing long-term antidepressant use? There are science-backed strategies that support mood without courting the same developmental hazards. Start with energy. Your brain and your baby's developing organs run on adequate carbohydrates. Aim for 200 to 250 grams of easy-to-digest carb sources. Ripe fruit is ideal. While stripping seed oils rich in linoleic acid, replace them with stable saturated fats from grass-fed butter, ghee, or tallow to protect mitochondrial output. Next, shore up micronutrients that mood disorders commonly drain. 
Magnesium deficiencies track closely with depression, and several B vitamins, particularly B1, B3, and folate, anchor neurotransmitter synthesis and sleep quality. Correcting those gaps often lifts emotional resilience within weeks. Movement is another natural antidepressant. Gentle daily walks or prenatal yoga sessions increase blood flow, sharpen insulin sensitivity, and spark endorphin release without stressing joints or the fetus. Even 20 minutes can translate into calmer evenings and deeper sleep. Speaking of sleep, anchor your circadian rhythm. Morning sunlight within 30 minutes of waking, a dark bedroom at night, and a consistent schedule give your brain clear timing cues, stabilizing serotonin and melatonin cycles naturally. Finally, defuse chronic stress. Deep breathing drills, brief outdoor breaks, or a round of emotional freedom techniques tapping can lower cortisol in minutes. The calmer your nervous system, the less pull toward pharmacologic quick fixes. Here's your challenge. Over the next seven days, pick one of the safer strategies we just covered. Maybe eliminating seed oils, adding a magnesium-rich evening snack, or taking a 10-minute sunrise walk and track how your mood and energy respond. Small, consistent steps compound, and you deserve options that nurture both you and your child. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.